welcome back to my channel. My name is Yasmin Simone. For those of you guys who are new, this is my husband Adam. And this is our little baby. We just had our baby Yara about almost two months ago. We're super excited to show you her nursery today. It's finally finished and it looks so good in here. And I'm so excited to show you all everything in it. We love it, so we hope you love it too. And let's just get right into the room. Before we really start, I get a lot of questions about like room decorating and where I get my inspiration from. Pinterest, okay? Get the Pinterest app, go on Pinterest because literally everything in this room, all the ideas in here, I got off Pinterest. This is a little hook thing. I just thought this was really cute to just, you know, hang stuff on. It's more for decoration than anything, but I also think it can be pretty functional. We have this cute little wooden camera. I thought this was really cute. This was the first outfit she ever got. If you guys saw our gender reveal video, in the video my mom gave this to us and it was her first little dress and she can finally fit this now. This is her changing table slash dresser. I didn't want to buy a changing table because you know they sell changing tables that are literally just for changing. Like there's nothing else to it. It's just a surface. And I felt like it would make sense to turn a dresser into the changing table because it's something that she can have in her room as she gets older, it's not only a changing table. This is from Ikea. This is Hemnes, Hemnes, is that how you say it? Dresser. This dresser actually comes with black knobs. We have this same line in our bedroom and we have it with the black knobs. But I just felt like for a kid's room, it would just look a lot more appropriate if the knobs were a little softer. So I just switched out for these knobs that I got off Amazon. It looks so cute. It really matches like with the rest of the room. This is her little announcement plaque that I spent like 25 minutes putting together. Okay, my fingers hurt because putting those little teeny weeny letters on there is really painful. So I'm never taking them off. It's going to say that forever. This is just a fake plant from Ikea. A lot of people on my Insta story were like, where'd you get that plant? It's literally from Ikea. It's fake. I am a very big fake plant person. I just feel like fake plants are great. You don't have to water them. They never die. And it's cute. So it'll be there forever because it's never going to die. We have just like some mementos up here. These were some booties. Um, my mom got her her sonogram picture. This candle was actually given out at our baby shower. So everyone got a candle and then they got this. And the idea was for everyone to light the candle when I was in labor, but I don't think that really happened because I don't think we told people we were in labor, did we? No, not really. We were supposed to tell everyone when we were in labor and then everyone's gonna light a candle and whatnot, but. Yeah, I had. It didn't my happen. Fr friends talking about it. Like, hey, I didn't light my candle. And yeah, like, people were asking about it afterwards and. I was like, what candle? <laughs> because it just happened so fast. And like, when you're in labor, the last thing you're thinking about is the candle, but. Whatever, if you saw our birth story video, you know we wasn't thinking about no candles, okay? But we just kept that, it's really cute, and... I was thinking about candles. You were thinking about, he lit all the candles, y'all. It was very cute when I was pushing her out. By the way, she is wrapped on me right now because she will not take naps lately. She just wants to be held, so she's being held. This is just a little bear, but the really cute thing is this bracelet. Um, it has her name on it, and my best friend actually gave that to me, and she's gonna wear it as soon as her hand gets bigger. This is actually my bracelet from when I was little, and it has a Y on it. It's like a little teeny gold Y, and I always thought I was really <laughs> didn't special. Focus on it, but... Oh, you wanna let it focus? Did it focus? No. Well, just take my word for it. It has a Y on it. <laughs> and it's cute because her name starts with Y. You get it. So she can wear it if she wants to. I actually can still fit this because, fun fact, I have very small wrists, like abnormally small wrists. I have to change this because these are her little blocks to tell her age. And she's not six weeks anymore. She's, is it eight or seven? So seven. Yeah. So she is now seven weeks old. I don't, I don't really change these every week but it's cute. These are her little like, you know those little like wooden things that you like do little photo shoots with? I did a few photo shoots with her when she was first born. They were very difficult. She was very tiny, but we use this. Well, I use this in the photo shoots. Over here, if you guys remember like a long time ago in a very old vlog, I bought this a lot, like in like a Marshalls haul. I was pregnant when I did that vlog. I'll put a pin up here. And I bought this and we had this in our entryway and it didn't really match the rest of our decor at all. 
But I really just like the mirror and I'm really glad I got it because it matches perfectly in here. Like it looks so good. It, it literally ties everything together in my mind. So this mirror is awesome. It was like $15 from Marshalls. I will not have a link because I do not know if I can find a link for Marshalls stuff, but if I find something similar, I'll link it down below because it's really cute. Moving on to this. This is her changing basket. I am obsessed with baskets. She has another basket too, a little bit bigger. It's more for like, it's more like a bassinet type thing. But I just think this is the cutest thing ever. I don't know how long she'll be able to fit in it for. You think she'll outgrow this? Yeah. I think she will. She's almost already too big for that. She's huge, you guys. She's getting so fat. She literally eats so much. But I just love it, okay? When she outgrows it, we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. But she's, she can still fit in it now. Stop. She can still fit in it now, so we're still using it. This basket is from Amazon. I'm an Am Tell them how many packages we got from Amazon when I was pregnant. And after I, was, after I had her too. Like, literally how many? Everybody thought I worked for Amazon. No, they didn't. <laughs> I know. It was a lot. This thing, it comes with this like pad. It's like a waterproof pad. And then it comes with another pad which we didn't put on here. This was one of my probably most useful purchases when I was pregnant. I originally wanted to get a leather pad like this from this um, company called Gather, but they're always sold out on there. All their stuff is always gone. So I found this on Amazon. It's by Sonder. That's the company. It's a little bit smaller than I would have liked, but it actually ended up being perfect. Her first month, of life we use this and we didn't even use this room up until like a week ago because it wasn't done so we've just been changing her diaper on the bed on the couch on the floor like wherever and this makes it really easy because it's wipeable now we put it in here like this so when she has blowouts yeah the blowouts <laughs> the blowouts are real okay she has blowouts and it's just simple to just like whoosh. she has explosions she has explosions really cute these are from ikea they're just like little glass cork um containers you know we have her little baby q-tips oh that she don't wear and these are empty these are her footprints from my very failed footprint attempt this is her book this has all of her sonograms i meant to make this a project and like make it look really cute but i'm not a scrapbooker and i don't have the patience to do that so i all her sonogram pictures are kind of thrown in here <laughs> it's a mess. These are from when I had my 15 week, my 20 week, and what was it, like a 30, did we go at 30 weeks? I don't remember. It's a lot of sonogram pictures in here. This was her footprint from the day she was born, which I will never, ever get rid of this because, I mean, it's her footprint. So. This drawer has all of her burp cloths. These are washcloths, bibs, whole bunch more bibs back here, like literally a gazillion bibs that she doesn't wear yet because we just don't put bibs on her. <coughs> I need some water. Good God. The bibs, the bibs, the bibs, the bibs. Oh my bad. Okay. What was all that? Yeah, that was the, they don't want to see you on camera, they want to see me. Get it together. Ointments, I literally just threw these in here. This is the Honest Co. All-Purpose Balm. We use this like literally every day on her face, body. This is some butt cream. Cream, booty, booty, booty. <laughs> this drawer is all her diapers and wipes. It's literally easy to grab from here because we change her hair. These little diaper doggy bags. <laughs> they look yeah, like doggy bags. For the explosion. But these are, we only use these when she has like a really, like really stinky diaper and she definitely has those. This is kind of my drawer. This is like the only drawer I have in the whole thing. It just has a bunch of my stuff from when I was pregnant and when like, you know, just like my breastfeeding stuff, this little fan, cause I'm always hot. Some gel pads to soothe your nips. Nursing pads, breast milk storage bags, lanolin. This is like a little breast ice pack. This was my wrap when I was pregnant. Just a bunch of stuff. This drawer is all of her like, I don't know, what would you call this stuff? Like like the first aid. It's like the first aid grooming. Like, yeah. So we Hygiene. Have the nose Frida. I'm telling you guys, if you have a baby or you're about to have a baby, get this. It's great for sucking out their boogers. It's not like when she was first born, she was really congested. We use this a lot. These. For the win. Listen, for, uh, is this, what's the company called? 
Frida Baby. Frida Baby, if you're watching this, please sponsor me because we literally love your products. This Wendy has saved so many nights. What? This is basically like a little thing that you stick up their butt and it helps all the gas and poop that's stopped up in there come out and it relieves the baby and it relieves the parents too. It's yeah, great. so sometimes you might not know what's going on yeah. and that's what's going on. These are must baby Q-tips. They are fat, they don't go that far into any hole so they're really good. It's like a toothbrush, a thermometer. We have this thermometer, like the one that you... Go in. Oh. This is my best friend. It's a booger picker. I have, yeah, I she have picked her own boogers OCD. with it. No, I don't. I have slight OCD. <laughs> when I see like huge boogers in Yara's nose, like I just have to like, I just have to get them. She hates it. I feel really horrible, but like, I can't sit there and nurse her while her nose is in my face and I see a big booger like it's calling me like I have to get it. So, you know, we use this a lot. It's cool. It has like little hooks and you just, this is for her gripe water. It's like a little syringe. It actually should not be in here. I'm gonna go sterilize this after this video. Saline, you spray it and then you suck it out with the nose Frida. And we also bought this. This is the Owlet sock and it's basically a sock that you put on their foot while they're sleeping and it tracks their sleep, their heart rate, their blood pressure, all that stuff. And we also have the outlet monitor. We don't use this sock as much. We used it for like a week or two when we first bought it. And I think it was just one of those like first time parent buys, you freak out and you wanna make sure your kid's still breathing at night. So we're tracking this on our phones. We can see her breathing and everything, but. Yeah, it, it even tells you that she's waking up. Is yeah, it, it tells it, you a lot yeah. of stuff. It's pretty high tech. But I think it's cool. I think we might use it in the future. Maybe like if she's sick or something, go off her bed. Like you never know. It's just nice to have it. Even yeah. though we don't really use it that much. It's just a lot of work to put this on her foot because she wakes up and it's a whole thing. Yeah, but it's in here. to be thinking about it all the time. Kind of tough. Yeah. Um, in here, she has all her like clothes clothes. Like not pajamas. So all her leggings, pants, cute little outfits. And she can pretty much fit everything in here now. She's in zero to three month clothing. She's officially in zero to three months. At first she couldn't fit any of the zero to three month stuff. So yeah, she can fit everything. This is her, I wanna say this is kinda like her pajama drawer, like her chill drawer. These are all her basic everyday onesies. Literally a gazillion onesies. She has like some footies. Um, these are her cute little slippers. I love these, they're from Target. There's a random swaddle in here. Don't know why that's in here. All her little hats and headbands. And in here is an outfit my sister knitted for her. Crocheted, not knit, sorry. She'll, she's gonna clock me if she hears me say knit. It's crochet. This drawer is the junk drawer. Junk, junk, junk. Don't look in there. Junk, There's junk, literally junk, in here junk, a bunch junk, of clothes she will junk. not be able to fit until she's like three. There's Why? a gazillion wipes. It's stuff, okay? It's just stuff. This last drawer is all her blankets and swaddles. We put her sheets in here and everything. I really wanted to have like a bookshelves in here, but I didn't want to buy a bookshelf. So I opted for these cute little wall bookshelves. These are from Amazon. These are not all her books. These, these are kind of for decoration because I really want her to have a really, really large book collection. I was a very big reader when I was young. I feel like reading is so important and I don't want her to get sucked up in too much technology, so she's gonna have a lot of books. She has more books in the corner over there, but these are the the cute ones that I wanted to display. I got this book for Adam a few days ago. I was wondering where it was. It's behind, yeah, it was behind me. Couldn't see but it. But look, look you guys, it's them. It's Adam and Yara, and it's so cute. I got this from um, Hooray Heroes, that's the brand, and you can like custom make a book. So cute. This lamp is from Amazon. Let's get into this chair. Let's talk about this chair. It was an investment, wasn't it? Yeah, but it was definitely worth it. I think it was worth it. We bought this chair when I was still pregnant. I really didn't want to buy a cheap chair. Like, I searched for a chair probably from when I was like six months pregnant up until nine months. I didn't want to buy something cheap that was gonna break on us. Like, that would piss me off more than spending money, so. We invested in this one. It's from Crate and Barrel. And it took forever to arrive. It took so long to get here. It took months. But when it got here, we immediately started using it and we haven't stopped since. Like we use this chair every day. It's perfect for rocking her. Used it last night. What? Hmm? Oh. Adam 
Adam sleeps in his chair. <laughs> it reclines fully back, you guys. It's a glider, so it spins. And it's really cool because it has a U USB on the side right here. So you can plug your phone up and just have your phone right next to you. Yeah, you and got built-in speakers and massage. And, and it does your taxes. You know. It, it rubs your feet. Gets you a mani patty. We have this little ottoman. Honestly, you don't need this because the chair reclines. But you don't. You can't like rock the chair when it's in reclined position. So I thought an ottoman was appropriate. And this one is so cute. I've been having my eye on it for a hot minute. Yeah. I don't know if she's asleep or not. I can't really tell. This is our spot. This is where we always are. And also it's easy to like grab a book. She actually is at the stage now where she like kind of listens to books. Like at first, I think I tried reading her a book when she was like two, three, thank you. Two or three weeks old. Can I have my water? Thirsty. I'm really thirsty. What's I talking about? Talking about how she listens to you. Oh read. yeah, I tried to read her a book when she was like two weeks old and she just was like laying there. She wasn't paying attention, but now she literally pays attention. She looks at the pages and she's just getting so big. She'd be like, I do. <laughs> she talks, you guys, like, I'm gonna cry. Okay, I got this table off Amazon. I just thought it'd be nice to have this to put our things on, her bottles, your phone, whatever. We have a little garden here. <laughs> they are dead. Do not clock me, you guys. I cannot keep plants alive. They're not I don't all have a green dead. Thumb. And the only reason these are still alive a little bit is because of Adam. Adam takes great care of these. We have to repot these, so they're not gonna stay like this. They look kind of janky right now. But I wanted plants in here, even though I don't really like taking care of plants. I did want to have real plants because they help cleanse the air, and I want her room to be like a little sanctuary. So we're gonna keep the plants. Hopefully, I won't kill them. We have this plant also. This is the biggest real plant in here. I hope I don't kill it. It's already start. You see the you see the, this leaf is starting to go. You see it? I put it in the sun a little bit more. Yeah, I don't know why I put it in this corner. This is from I don't know. I'll have a link down below. But this is so cute. I'm obsessed with wooden toys. Not only is wood like really cute in this you know boho type theme, but wood is actually very good for a child's development. Like it's really good for them to play with. Wooden blocks, wooden toys, they're really, really good for kids. So I wanted to have a lot of wooden elements in her room. You might also notice there's a lot of rainbows. Not a lot, but like a good amount. I really am obsessed with like this little rainbow trend that I've been seeing on Pinterest. So my mom painted this and she actually made this rainbow. It was actually Adam's idea to put this right here and I think it's really, really cute above her crib. Her crib is from Ikea. I was about to buy her, you guys, I was about to splurge and buy her like a $400 crib. And then I was like, why am I going to spend almost $500 on a crib when an Ikea crib is gonna do the same thing? We just went for a simple white Ikea crib. And this one actually converts. And if we wanna buy her like another bed when she gets bigger, I'm not gonna feel bad because this thing is literally like $100. So yeah, her crib's pretty basic. I think we're gonna try to transition her to sleeping in here all the time but right now she only takes naps in it she doesn't sleep in it overnight she still sleeps in our room so this corner this is the last corner in here let me talk about these first so these paintings you're probably thinking like ew why does she have these crusty paintings in here that don't match anything these are actually done by famous artists named Yasmin and adam <laughs> <laughs> me and adam both um did these when we were in school this is adam's this is an airplane and he did this in what grade were you in? I can't remember, remember? but it was, I think it was. Well, your mom said you were in high school. Yeah, it was probably early So he did this school. in high school and his mom keeps all his stuff. So she had this. I did this in the sixth grade. I remember doing this. My mom framed it, framed these and brought them. And I just love that she has like a little piece of us. I don't know if she'll think they're ugly when she gets older. <laughs> if she does, she can take them down, I don't care. This is like our old nightstand and it's honestly not supposed to be in here. <laughs> but I just kept it over here because it's just like another surface to break up the space. So, you know, it's kind of like a makeshift bookshelf right now. We have all her other books down here and the plants. And I don't know if I'll keep it in here or not, but for now, that's where it is. Did I forget 
The closet, the closet. Everybody I'm wants to see the closet. Now. I know. You I know. guys cannot <laughs> see the closet because the closet is a hot travesty. Like, it is. What? She just said. <laughs> The closet is basically storage. We live in an apartment, so we don't have a lot of storage space. Her closet might need a little bit of organization. Yeah. Maybe I'll make that another video. Yeah, that's pretty much her entire room. Um, she's starting to, what is it? Oh, I didn't even show this part. This is her little hamper over here. It's full because we got to do laundry, but her hamper's right there. Um, this is like a little prayer rug. Because this is honestly the most space we have in our apartment to pray. I didn't talk about this either. Her diaper pail. This is the Ubby diaper pail. Shout out to Mansoura Maya for this. Ooh, ooh, um, ooh, it's really ooh, nice. Ooh. I like it. It seals in the bulk. Yeah. Really good. It's like a military grade. Yeah. And the good thing about it is you don't have to get like special bags for it. You just put like regular yeah that's her nursery tour we hope you guys enjoyed this little quick video i didn't realize i still had her bow in my hand she talks in her sleep oh yeah what else uh -huh. Make sure you guys check the description box for everything you saw in this video. There might be some other stuff. If, if I forget something, feel free to comment down below. I read all my comments, so. I read all my comments, so if I forget anything down below, do not hesitate to ask me where something is from. Oh, is Yara awake? Looked like her eyes were open. We're gonna see you guys in our next video. Make sure you comment down below if you have any video ideas you want us to do. Definitely are gonna be doing more vlogs for you guys. You okay? <laughs> so yeah, I love you guys and I'll see you in my next one.